Ja, jetzt stinkt's. So behind us in our studio, what we've got is all of the movie posters from the movies we've made. Uh, and the reason we want to put them up in the studio is so we can kind of remember the films we've made. So we've got Road, we've got Cops, we've got Keep the Change, but then we've got an empty one, which is for the next film that we're going to make. We don't actually know what that is, but we've kept it empty. So it gives us that little bit of motivation to fill it. Also with the movie posters, we've got the cast and crew to sign them. So when you come in, if you worked on the film. But this one's got corpse and it's got messages on from the cast and crew. And then we've got Keep the Change. We still need most of the cast, well, the one cast and the rest of the crew to sign it. We've signed it in the corner there. And it's just nice to have. I think, you know, you make a movie poster because it's pretty cool to have. You know, you make a short film, make a movie poster. And if you haven't noticed already, I'm gonna point it out. I tried my hardest, but they're not level. Also on this wall are these clapperboards from the three films we've made, so... Actually, I'm gonna tell you this in a bit. I'll be back in about a minute and 20. So, what happened to this light? Uh, well, this is an 800 watt light. Um, we've got like five, well, we had six of them. One of them blew, so the bulb inside, the attachment that held the bulb just smashed into pieces and I was like, no point in fixing it. So what I did is I modified it, took the power cable off and I had a bunch of these LED strip lights inside. What would you use this for? Um, I think it would just be like an edge light for someone. So if you look on me right now, you're just getting a nice, it's quite close because it's not too bright. So it was just- Recycling. Of, yeah, it was just a bunch of stuff that I've had and they were in a box. And it was just like, well, we might as well make this because you never know when we need a green light. Blue light or red light. Or oh, on a Friday night. Disco light. <laughs> yeah, that rhymed. Friday night. Disco light. Currently making a intro video to one of the videos uh, using an old 8mm film projector, which I've just fixed. Did a little clean myself, but I've just got two 160 LEDs, just one to the side, and then one top light nut, and I'll try to block out as much light as possible and try to give it a nice black backdrop. Welcome back. As I promised earlier, we're going to talk about these clapperboards and these are in our studio and the clapperboards represent each film we've made so far. So every film we make, we're going to buy a new clapperboard and then once the film's finished, retire it on the wall. The plan is not to always have them along like this. Uh, one day we'll just have like a full section where it'll just be full of clapperboards which will work as kind of a backdrop. The way we got the clapperboards under the wall was a very simple technique and it was by using Velcro, so they can come off and we can stick them anywhere. On the back of each of the clapperboards is the date of the production. So for example, 13th of October 2014 to the 29th of July 2015. Yes, that's how long it took to shoot corps. That's why I don't like taking these off. Yeah. And that concludes this feature presentation. And then if you know someone needs to be in a disco, you can just go Discovery? 